Así se siente en México. Así se siente en México. Así como mis labios por la piel. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't see you there. I was just celebrating Cinco de Mayo. This is week seven, and hopefully you're watching this on a Tuesday, which will be the 5th of May. So today we'll be going over Cinco de Mayo. And if you can see from our beautiful map, Mexico is right here. It's right underneath the United States. It's southern part of North America, one of our continents. How many continents do we have? I'll give you a hint. S on hot dogs. Parents, that's a mnemonic that we learned in class. It's blank, blank, blank on a hot dog, blank. How many continents? Seven, seven, seven on a hot dog. Seven. It's from a video. So I will take this hat off. Actually, I'll hang it there because there's no room on my desk, guys. So let's get started. Let me open my current event, share my screen. So happy Cinco de Mayo, guys. I'm wearing my festive shirt. I'm wearing my festive earrings. Excuse the hand because <laughs> my mom does this thing. I explained this in another video. Sorry if you guys already saw that video. So my mom does this thing where she puts like the fruit or the vegetable in her hand like that and she'll cut it with a knife like that. And last night I thought it was real cool. So I put an avocado there, which is a little harder than, I don't know, say a tomato. And I did this. <laughs> and I completely sliced a huge part of my skin. I panicked, there's blood everywhere. Um, I sent pictures and videos to my mom, like, mom, it's gushing now. She's like, you're fine, foot pressure. So I'm alive and I'm well. Anyways, let's keep going. So again, we're gonna go over Mexico. So first off, we're going to go over the vocabulary first. You guys will fill out your, um, you will reread your current event after you watch this video and then you will do your assignment. Again, as we're listening um, to the lesson, make sure that our eyes are watching. We shouldn't be looking at our phones, seeing who's texting us. We shouldn't be TikToking. I actually don't have a TikTok, but I might want to get one. Our ears must be listening, our voice should be quiet, and our hands and feet should be to ourselves. So, again, today we're going to learn about Cinco de Mayo, also known as May the Fifth, which we should be watching it, May the Fifth. So, if we look at the picture, we see some people dancing. It says people performing a traditional Mexican dance. Hmm. So, once I do this video, um, my mom's calling me. What do you want, mom? Um, once we do this video, um, the quiz should be there and I'll put the video link somewhere right here. So our vocabulary words. The first one is Mexican. A Mexican is a native or inhabitant of Mexico or a person of Mexican descent. So my mother, speaking of her, she was born in Matamoros, Tamaulipas, which is a border city with where I'm from, Brownsville, Texas. So it's really small, but I actually said Matamoros on my map right there. And it says Brownsville too. So that's where my mom is from. She is Mexican. Uh, my dad was born in Brownsville. Our next one says tradition, which are customs or beliefs from a generation to a generation or the fact, um, or the fact of being passed on its way. So. One tradition I have with my family was on Easter, we used cascarones, which are eggs. And inside of the egg, there's no yolk, there's no egg, it's empty. And what you put in the egg is confetti, and then you top it off with, um, I don't know what it's called, it's like a really light film. And then you glue it on there, and then you crack it on someone's head. So that is one tradition that has been passed down for me from generation to generation. Um, our next one is Mexico, which is a country of Southern North Africa, ooh, North America, and the third largest country in Latin America. So again, it's in North America, and it's the Southern part. This would be North, the Southern part of North America. And again, how many continents? On a hot dog. We have seven, right? Seven continents. The last one, sorry, this isn't the way. Our last one says holiday, which is a day marked by general suspension of work in commemoration of an event. So 
typically no one really gets Cinco de Mayo off, but it's still considered a holiday. Oui. So, what is Cinco de Mayo in the first place? Why is Miss Hernandez dressed like this? Well, I was actually dressed like this last week for Fiesta. Whatever. That was in commemoration of the Battle of San Jacinto, right? But we're going to keep it going. Cinco de Mayo means the 5th of May in Spanish. Oui. This holiday started long ago in Mexico to remind people of a battle that the Mexican army won on May the 5th, 1862. In the United States, Cinco de Mayo has become a fun celebration of the Mexican culture and history. And it's observed by people of all nationalities. Many people celebrate with parties called Fiestas! People may enjoy Mexican food such as tacos or enchiladas. They may celebrate with Mexican folk music, traditional dances, and big parties. So, there you have it. Cinco de Mayo. When you're finished, um, when you are finished, you may, oui, stop share, stop it. My button's not working, guys. There it is. So, when you guys are finished, watching my video, then you guys will reread it, then you'll take your quiz. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, advice, let me know and happy Cinco de Mayo. Let me know in the comments, please, what you guys are gonna do or if you guys don't do anything. Will you guys have some tamales? Will you dress up in some flowery shirt? Will mom and dad, I don't know. Surprise me. What are y'all going to do? I'll see you guys soon. See you later.